I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. I'm supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. I already have it. That is not going to work. Only thing I can do with the note is look at it. That is not going to work. Only thing I can do with the note is look at it. Wrestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. I wonder how I can turn off the light to let them know I'm here. Must be something around here that can help. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. The light is turned on and I do not see a light switch. It is my wallet and it has 252 American dollars in it. It is the keycard for my room. It is a pillow bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out and you get a pillow. Very top secret. I am not tired now, nor do I need a hug from a bear. It is not safe to open my wallet here. It only works on the room doors in the hotel. I had better follow the instructions on the note before wandering into the underbrush. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. I am sure the poor fellow could use the money, but I am not here for philanthropic purposes. I am sure this man is not the one I am meeting, so he does not get the prototype. That would just make a dent. Reach that. It is too hot to touch. It is too hot to touch. I do not see a way to turn it off. There! I've 
completed step three of the note. Now for step four. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Detective Antonio Reyes, junior agent. It's definitely my badge. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. It's a hotel key card from the dead man. That's the coroner's job. Better not. I don't want to turn the body over. That's the coroner's job. Better not. I don't want to turn the body over. That's the coroner's job. Ugh, that's disgusting. Whatever. I think we better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Hmm, there's no film in the camera. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge.
The cell phone has no reception. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. It's a hotel key card from the dead man. Better not. I don't want to turn the body over. That's the coroner's job. Better not. I don't want to turn the body over. That's the coroner's job. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, more like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Oh, I love carrying stuff. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. It's an instant camera. Only has one picture left. I think we better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Smile! Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Dead ringer for the body. Oh! Dead ringer for the body. Oh! Trussell Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. It's an empty whiskey bottle. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Definitely not the murder weapon. Wrong sized body hole. We should go find the sheriff. We should go find the sheriff. That's disgusting. Better take a deep breath. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood so I think he was actually killed in the water. We should go find the sheriff. The trail ends here, at this huge rock wall. The trail ends here, at this huge rock wall. The trail ends here, at this huge rock wall. We should go find the sheriff. Freshly caught. I don't want to pick that up. I can't pull that. I can't push that. That doesn't seem to work. Uh, no thanks. suit looks tailored, possibly European in design. It's a gate to the trail above.
We should go find the sheriff. is an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. It's a trail down to the railroad trestle. I don't see anything up ahead. I think the town must be in the other direction. Looks like the road goes on forever. Behind jaggy lines from Mucus Flem Games? I don't get it. Who'd ever let a game be named that? It's a trail down to the railroad trestle. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. <laughs> that was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts-style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. You almost ran over a federal agent. That is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Beep! Squeak! Squeak! Eek! Squeak! Beep! Eek! Waz! Squeak! Beep! Squeak! Beep! 
Boop. It's a plumbing van driven by big pigeons. Eek. Beep. Click. No need. The perps are outside. Squeak. It's locked. Eek. Waz. Eek. Click, 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 click. Whack. Boo. Squeak. Eek. Eek. Beep. Squeak. Boo. From a six pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. We should go find the sheriff. Wait up, eager beaver. Thimbleweed Park. Nice name for a town. It says Main Street. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. Eh, that's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> I'm Agent Reyes, and this is my partner, Agent Ray. Nice to meet you, Agent Arenos. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is certain to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? The inscription says, Pillotronics, the brain of our city. Go, 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 go
I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future, Who. Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, uh, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, Who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match a who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Arino? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as peas hoos in a pot of hoo Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the Pillow Factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. These Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here.
do I really want to open a coroner's drawers? It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. I don't want to pick that up. I can't push that. I can't pull that. I don't know how to use it. Chewy Caramel Center. Ugh. I don't want to pick that up. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. Lots of medical books there. I can't push that. I can't pull that. I don't want to pick that up. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. The inscription says, Pelotronics, the brain of our city. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 a Reno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Renos in a pot Reno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right. Uh, sorry, Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer of Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? 
Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery in Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Insert three reports from the Blotron 3000, Fingertron 3000, and Facetron 3000 into the Arresttron 3000 to issue an arrest warrant. It's turned off. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. Just a bunch of files. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Fluoride is a conspiracy to brainwash your kids. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. It doesn't have any buttons. Must wanted, Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Wanted, huh? A meteor? Wanted, Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. Breaker 1-9. Breaker. Breaker. <sighs> Is this thing on? Daisy. Daisy. Give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy. All for the love of you. A bicycle built for two. Attention all units. Enough screwing around. I've got a case to solve. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. It doesn't have any buttons. Standard city-issued desk, but with no drawers. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible.
It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred.